Glad to hear that. Well, how's your week? How's your week been so far? Um, not too bad. Not too bad. We've uh, I've I've kind of been getting caught up from a an extended vacation I had around around Christmas, you know, New Year's into New Year's, and I still feel like I'm catching up. So I've never taken 14 days off in a row. So so it was wow. it was awfully. Uh, uh, th there's a long reason for all that, but uh, nonetheless, it. it I came back and it took 14 days to catch up. It felt like so. I finally got. Finally, feel like I'm. I'm about there. So it's been good. Enter your name. Wow. Address. Okay. Yeah. If you we could get online there. Yes. Yeah. For sure. And if you want to, I will. Uh, I'll record this call so you can have okay. a copy of it. Um, okay. That'd be great. And uh, let's see. Is ask for your name and your email then? Yep, I've got it. Okay. Getting ready. There Here go. we go. There you are. Gotcha. Okay. If you're already on the call, press pound, 70 pound now. Go ahead and do that. Yep. Okay. Are you still there? Yep. Yep, I'm here. Okay. Good. Yeah, now it just shows your name when you're talking there. Uh, so okay. Let me do that too. All right, perfect. Okay, so um, fill me in a little bit. I know Kathy took some notes and mm -hmm. and said that uh, that um, you know variety of areas to improve, less fearful, uh, you know, more proactive, uh, motivation. I mean, what? Give me an idea. Your segment for yeah, what, um, what you like to see or so? Well. It, Kind of, I'll, I'll go back way back, way back when, whenever I started at Jones and took over this office 10 years ago. And I started in the home office right out of college, and, and I, I came into a program that was called the PASS program at that time, and, and it was just a bunch of young college kids. That, and, and, and I had studied you know, finance and economics and so forth in college, so I had good, good you know, technical knowledge, uh, poor probably real-life knowledge because my family are teachers. So... Uh, nonetheless, I, I went to the home office, and I, 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 as I took over this office, they, they, you know, they, everybody said if you had 30, 30 million in assets, you, you would end up making a hundred, a hundred net. Okay. Well, it, it, what they failed to tell you is you need to know that 30 million very well, and, and they need to be your clients, and they need to be people that you created. Uh, in, in the office I took over, probably at one time would have been like a $70, $70 million office that by the time I got here and competed with it, it was more like maybe 20-something, 20 21. And so I've always remembered that $30 million equals 100 net rule, okay? Yeah. Um, and, and because I do things a little differently that it, as a result of that, and I use a lot of low-margin products, I, I've, I've never hit that number, you know, and I effectively – you know, maybe hit a hundred net on a you know twelve month rolling average two or three times, but never in a calendar year. And and now I take over. I'm, t I'm watching. You know, my assets under care are probably sixty seven million. And so I have a very low velocity number. Probably would like that low velocity number to go up significantly, and I know it can. I just you know effectively gotta gotta decide that higher margin products probably is a good thing for a lot of people. Uh, you know, I've effectively decided that you can't just buy and hold for 20 years anymore. And uh, I've, when I see things that make sense, I should just act on it and be more proactive. And, and as, I, as I'll give you an example, say, I don't know, Oracle was at $35 a month or two ago, and it just it, it didn't make sense to go to 40 after it moved from 25 to 35 that quick. You probably could just hold the Oracle and bought something else. And, uh, that made sense over another over the next five years. Uh, you know those types of things. I think if, if I was more proactive, where you see those opportunities, uh, to you know just being less fearful of charging somebody eight eight thousand dollars to set up their account and, and and trying to you know almost every time somebody's in here where where you'd use more managed products, uh, I, I would use more individual bonds more. Equities, more you know, individual stocks, and you know, kind of almost always just take the, the 
the cost from eight thousand to you know something more like three thousand. Uh, you know, it, because it felt good to do that, and clients didn't have sticker shock, and you know, and anyway, moral of the story is there's a lot of things I could do in thinking different uh, about things that you know. What I, I, probably a little bit more to that is, you know, I realized like the other day I needed somebody to sell something that had gone up a bunch. It just really doesn't make sense to own anymore. But all of a sudden, you know, she's like, all of a sudden, this woman who knows nothing is the expert and, and, and wouldn't take my advice. So all because it's going to cost her $60 to sell the stock. Okay. And, uh, you know, little things like that that I realized that maybe I should just had her in managed stuff and, and, and because she, whenever she needed to listen, she wasn't. So that makes any sense. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, how, so there's a lot of little, uh, there's a lot of little frustrations that, that are inside of me uh, about, you know, just time and efficiency, you know, even even me knowing I could become a little more patient with, with my assistant. Uh, we've got a good relationship, but we could use some patience, even me being more patient when she asked me questions to, to more, you know, processes and things like that. We don't do that very well. We're very reactive to people, and, you know, that, that's probably best suited. I'd like to see my business improve. Uh, yet I, I know that I'm, I, I'm I just I'm a I've coasted because I, I'm single and I make a hundred you know nearly hundred thousand dollars a year and I don't spend it so uh, I I kind of just you know I know that's a pretty good living for a 36 year old making a hundred thousand that really plans to be here another 20 25 years and, and has seen and, and is you know growing his assets under management slowly so. Okay. How many households? Yeah. Um, at one time, I had about 550, and I, I knew that I pared down any of the little stuff, and then I just gave away about 70 uh, households to to the guy in in you know in the Edward Jones office right next door to me. So I'm down to like four. I, I think it's like 440, but it still registers in our system at like 470. But in a, in about a month or two, that those that that half that still somehow connects to me, goes to him, so I would okay. say about 440. Oh, wow, that's quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. How many of those are ideal clients? Uh, yeah, I, we kind of did this a little bit with Randy about a year and a half ago. I would say 180, something like that, 150 to 180 uh, wow. would be people who pay you, for, you know, and, and listen fully when you call. They'll, they'll take action, have enough money, pay you, you know, a, a, a you know, uh, it, more than your, more than our hair cutter, or more than, you know, more, more than, you know, a couple hundred bucks a year. So, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm so servicing. So it's, it's typically the 80-20 rule. Would you say that 20% make up 80% of your revenue? Yeah, I think if you look at it, it, it it's going to fit that way. And I, it may even be a little worse. It may be more like 18 is 80 or something like that. But it's, it's fairly close to that. Okay. If, you, if that were true, then it'd be around 90 that make up all your revenue. You think it, that it, it, right. It, I mean, it's it, it, it's more or less like that. I, but the only thing about that is that does switch some years, and some people will be there for one year, and they won't be there the next year because they're, you know, so it, it does, you know, some of those households will, will, will it'll, they'll move up, by, you know, based on one year or the next. So. But I, I would still say there's at least 150 to 180 households that that are, are you know, the, the people that will be with me the next 20 years or, or, okay. or at least until they die. All right. And, uh, and what are your assets under management? $67 million. <clears throat> Okay. And would you say that those 90 make up what percentage of the total assets under management of that 67 and they make up uh, it's it probably more like I don't know maybe 40 million of it something like that 45 okay. million doesn't I had I never looked at that part uh, or, or if I haven't it's not clicking in my brain so. okay <clears throat> so if you were to if you were to wave this magic wand I know you've mentioned some things like time and efficiencies and patients with your BOA and to be more proactive in the industry and stuff like that. What, what, if you did all those things, if you, if you were managing your time, 
you were really efficient, you were patient with your BOA, you were proactive in, the, in your business, what would that mean to you a year from now? So we're now we're in January well, I think, 13. If I just said emotionally, it would be I would I would feel less like wow I got all these people and I'm not because it, it, I'm, I, I don't know, how would I get this out? When I was a college kid and right before I studied, I'd have to clean my house or clean my room so I could focus. Okay, and so in theory. Every single time I come up with some nice little project that I need to do, okay, I either get interrupted by people, okay, because I don't have a time block day. And Libby and I have been working on that since we, since I was at your guys' meeting. But and then two, uh, I, I, there's there's so many other little things that I need to do that somehow those things would you know just kind of creep into my mind, and I'd be like, gosh, I'm just overwhelmed because I know I got 30 things to do, but do I really have time to go focus on this one thing? And so I would, I, you know, I, I would get into it and then not get back to it because some other, you know, some other things somehow took priority. So, so number one, emotionally, I'd probably feel less always kind of cycling to catch up, okay? Or I'd feel cleaner maybe. Uh, to money-wise, my my gut feeling is just by you know, finding a way to focus on one thing till it's done, second thing till it's done. Uh, you know, as you guys talked about chores, I think uh, that I looked at it as chores, and I needed to finish that chore. It would end up being, uh, you know, I, I'm guessing I could easily increase the revenues by 50 percent. Uh, you, you guys will say 100 if I if I find these other ideal households and work on referrals and and, and that sort of thing, but. You know, I, I'm I'm pretty well under the belief that it could jump, you know, 30, 40 percent if 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 I found myself fully dedicated. So. Okay. <clears throat> Excellent. Well, I think that's <clears throat> very realistic. I mean, it's um, six, seven million. I mean, that's that's quite a bit of assets under management. There's obviously a lot to leverage there. So it seems like there's just a lot of uh, more. Yeah, like intentionality that you could create because it's like you already have it we just gotta use it it's like the toolbox is already there we just gotta use the right tools right right or or you know yes I agree I agree okay so if it keeps going the way it does with the <clears throat> with the reactiveness and the being impatient with your BOA and not having efficiencies and you know reactive and time management and feeling stress and lack of peace of mind and all that. How, how is that for you a year from now? Well, I think uh, where I am right now, just you know, it, it, you know, a little less satisfied, maybe you know, in, in, in production, and a little less satisfied in in you know success of what, you know, I, I guess what you're trying to achieve, and and you know, probably the frustration levels are exactly where they are, or maybe even a little higher at that point. Well, and that, yeah, and it's a key question because we have to, you know, kind of figure out, Jonathan, are you okay with that? Because if if you're okay with it and you're like, you know what, I'm sort of okay in the lukewarm water. I can just kind of keep moseying along and, and, and deal with this and, you know, it's just, it's just you know, it's not that bad, right? Because no, otherwise the change isn't going to happen, you know? Right, and, and <clears throat> that's, that's a tough question because I believe, I, 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 I believe in low cost strategies, right? Uh, uh -huh. I, I'm a firm believer in that, and I'm, pro I'm, I'm probably anti advisory solutions the way it's built right now because all I got is a mutual fund platform, and effectively, anytime I customize one, they get frustrated with me, uh, and it, or they ask me 600 million questions that bother me, uh, like I'm doing something wrong for for customizing it to, to my belief structure. And uh, anyway, long story short is I think if I had the ideal product that Jones has, you know, that, that would allow me to use a little bit of equities in something like that, I would, I would you know, and, and, and use 80% of it would be funds, but uh, there, there could be a portion that, that was, oh, I don't know, more unique or more customized than, than uh, I think the numbers would jump off the roof. But, but until I get that product, I still feel like I'm, 
I'm probably going to maintain some of the same, you know, basically the same strategies with with maybe just looking at a client and saying, okay, well, they maybe because they're not going to be the people that can agree whenever you make a phone call to them and understand what, what you're doing and why, maybe I just need to use more more funds and, and more, you know, those sorts of strategies rather than, you know, implementing a 20 equity holding and a 10, 12 bonds that are, you know, diversified, which makes me less and, you know, effectively um, causes more movement and more things to keep track of and more things to review. So, um, you know, I, I, that, that's the that's the tough question. I certainly don't want to be doing a hundred a hundred net, okay, a year, two, three years from now, because I know I'm not growing if I do that. Flip side of that is, you know, do I, you know, come back to the whole theory? Do I really need to make two hundred thousand? Is that going to make me happy, or, or is, you know, having balance in my life going to be what makes me happy? So, in, in essence, I think there is mo a lot of motivation on the on the I'd like my I'd like to feel less stressed and less frustrated and less you know and more in control okay so let, let's look at those three real quick okay so okay. you got <clears throat> you've got and I uh, still like to make more money so don't don't get you know I, I am motivated by money but but maybe a little less than some other people okay all right fair enough all right so we got <clears throat> stress motivation and what was the other one um, frustration yeah, we'll say frustration or 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 maybe even just lack of, you know, lack of happiness and the success I've created at this point. I don't know. If, I don't know how to. Okay. All right. So let's, those are perfect okay. Words. So, uh, ten being complete peace of mind, one being stressed out of your mind. Where are you on that scale, Kurt? Oh, I'm probably at seven, something like that. Seven is peace. No, ten, no. Ten, seven would be stressed out. Okay, so zero would so, be peace. Is what I would, I would say. Okay, so I go this way. So zero would be stressed completely. Okay, three then. Be, oh, three. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and uh, frustration. Ten, totally relaxed, totally calm. Zero would be frustrated out of your mind. Three. Okay. Um, now let's go the other way. So motivated would be a 10. Zero would be no motivation at all. Six. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I am motivated. Am I at level two? You are motivated. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay. And how about happiness, just overall? 10, ecstatic. Zero, completely bummed out. Six. Well, from a and person, monetary, from a person, it's probably higher. From a business, it's about a six. Probably as a person, it's probably more like seven or eight. Okay, gotcha. All right, so it looks like the big ones here are, are really the stress levels and the frustration. Then, mm -hmm. okay. So if those stay where they are, if you stay at a at a, like you said, if you scale it the other way, it would be a seven, stressed out, one to ten, and frustrated would be a seven two. Um, if you stayed at those high levels of stress and frustration a year from now, what is that like for you? No, I, I would say the numbers probably, you know, and, and all those numbers would probably get just a little bit worse in, in, okay. in terms of the frustration or stress level. Okay, and, and are you okay with that? No, I don't think so. I, I, I do get that I need to. There's some things I could do to make my life easier and smoother and, and, and feel more more relaxed. Okay. Good. You know, what I'm what I'm kinda of digging around here a little bit for is to find out, you know, what what is your coachability index? Mm -hmm. You know, because people will do anything to avoid pain or to gain pleasure. But mm -hmm. we're in when we're in that lukewarm water where it's just, you know, like the frog, right? If you put the frog in the boiling water it jumps out right away, but if you put him right. in a it is, you know, and then he just slowly dies the death of stress out of his mind, right? So, are you at the place where it's like, I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to take this anymore. I know I've got to change it. Or are you like, you know, it's kind of okay. I'm all right with it. I'll just deal with being stressed out all. No, no, I, I, I would say coachable. Yes, I, I, you know, after I left your guys' your meeting, I, I would, 
I would say one, one, that night I talked to my friend who's a field supervision director and and said, have you, you know, just simply, have you ever had a coach that 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 you know, you know, taught you the fundamentals and really pushed you, you know, and motivated you and pushed you along to where you needed to go? And his answer was no. And of course, I I, I did have that person, so we kind of talked about it a little bit and. You know, I told him I was interested in, in, in what you guys had to offer and, and ask him who else, uh, it, it, you know, in, in his regions, not our regions, but his regions that, that have uh, coaches, and he named a couple people. And, and, you know, the one I talked to actually said, yeah, my, my business increased 70 or 80 percent. So I don't know if, I don't think, I don't know if they work with you or not, but, you know, he said that, you know, this person said, yeah, it helped them. Uh, I know I'm coachable. Uh, at the same time, I, I, you know, I've, I've had good coaching pretty much my entire life, and I've, I've always searched out good coaching. Uh, the, probably the, the only thing I haven't done here is, you know, <laughs> accept some of the coaching from from internally in the region. So, right, and, and there's there's a difference with that. You know, I mean, you can get coaching internally, and there's certainly some benefits, but when you've got a coach from the outside that's after nothing but your success, mm -hmm. there's no, yeah. there's no bias there. You know, there's mm -hmm. no plant of one or the other because it's there is only one. You know, one win is you being successful. So. Mm -hmm. well, well, let's take a look at your um, at your profile here. Can you see the screen? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So notice how these are all right in the middle. Mm -hmm. We hardly ever see that. Okay. And that's what's causing your stress. Um, okay. It's, <clears throat> it's um, you're flatlining. It, it's not. It's a. It's sort of a good thing because you can bounce between people, getting things done, and processing systems so fast. But what's happening is you're because they're all so even, none of them are taking value over the other. And okay. so you're going like this all the time, back and forth really fast between a bunch of stuff. And that feels exactly what it feels like. So Yeah. And and you know it it's actually a, it you know, there's a lot of brilliance in what you have. Um, it's just that you want to be able to start using these more and pushing them up and down mm -hmm. um, at, at the right time. So, you know, spending time to look at who is your ideal client? Where do you spend your time that ties in with your ideal client? What is it? How do you spend more time connecting, relating with your BOA so you're not create, creating the unpaid, you know, being unpatient, stuff like that? So, right, right. It's moving these things up and down the scale and not getting so flatlined where. Where you're, like, where you're just working, you're trying to work on all three of those things from how to, how to be empathetic and, you know, kind of, okay, now i got to be in this role for the next 20 minutes and then being able to switch to, okay, now I got, I'm thinking, right? And then, you know, I get, I get what you're kind of, and now I'm acting. You know, it's kind of, uh, you know, learning how, I guess what I'm saying is learning how to train your mind to say, okay, this is what I'm doing for 10 minutes forget about these other things for a little bit and then you know now I'm in this area act right so yeah kind of exactly so if you're going to okay. sit down you know with your BOA and say you know hey this meeting I'm going to have with her over lunch is specifically around me just connecting with her from an empathetic space okay. I'm going to home in on that and then another time you say okay now you know in this meeting that I'm about to do the let me understand, am I going to be in the relator mode and connecting? Am I going to get the results out of that? Or am I going to create some type of process or system to, you know, lay out the numbers or something, right? So it's really effectively being able to ask yourself, okay, who am I right now? And am I relating? Am I doing or am I thinking? And, and, and you know, and, and focusing on that. Yeah, like it would be really, really valuable for you to say, okay, just to practice this to say, okay, I'm going to, you know, this next client I'm going to call, think about it. Okay, where do I need to do? Is it, you know, am I related? Am I doing anything? And stay in that mode with them. Um, okay. 
and, and practice getting training your brain to do that. Okay. Uh, and then as you do that more, these are going to really start to move up and down a lot better. And okay. that's what you want. You want to create what we call a dynamic equilibrium so that these things really start to move. Because when they do this, it, what comes out is very ADD almost, you know, like just can't, can't focus <laughs> that, in on that's it. That's how it is. I mean, there's, kind of, there's yeah. parts of the conversation or this, and then you'll, you'll flip into an act, you know, this is how we're going to take action, or here's what we're thinking about. And, and, and it really, I, I could see how it would get that way with somebody. Yeah. Uh, so. But very manageable. It's just you have to break, you know, we talked about, you know, these patterns that run, you know, like, like the girl that broke the arrow. Mm -hmm. These patterns that run and, you know, no, there's no way we could break an arrow. How can that be possible? So it's just a pattern, and we have to interrupt it mm -hmm. so that it won't play anymore. And then you got to start, you know, which is basically interrupt the pattern and then start practicing new ones. Okay. Okay. This is showing it's starting to get frustration. The lower this one goes, the higher your frustration level. Okay. So that's why I was curious. It's getting to the place where you're like, yeah, I'm, I, I want to make a change. I want to make something different. It, it's just kind of teetering, though, at that place of when we, when we start to see it over here, like, you know, come heck or high water, I have to change. You're yeah. kind of at that place, yeah, I want to. I, I'm going to go down that place, but not at, not at a level where you're like, there's not an option here, right? Right. So, so we just want to pay attention and, and honestly crank up the the frustration and the and the stress almost a little bit more short term so that you're so committed to doing whatever it takes to interrupt that pattern. Gotcha. Okay. Um, this one is saying because it's up to the top here that you're very committed to your goal mm -hmm. and where you're headed and what the future looks like. So you uh, that's that's good. Let's get those laid out and let's set that you know, what is that North Star look like to you? And you, you started laying that out and articulating it pretty well. You said, hey, if, you know, if I could have a 50% increase in my book, that'd be great. And if I could have more peace of mind, that would be great. And if I could, uh, 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 you know, just have some more enjoyment around some of the stuff that I'm doing and stay more focused, that'd be great. So you got some pretty good clarity about what you want. Now let's put some framework in place of, how are we going to achieve it, and how can we create some accountability to make sure it happens? Okay. So, so those are the thoughts there. And then, um, what are your what are your thoughts on next steps as far as engaging and coaching? John's got two spots left for private and one spot left for semi-private. I, I would say. I'm going to be real fair to you. Um, this is probably something that about a year from now I can I, I could probably take on. Okay, and, and the reason is I've I've got so much new stuff being entered entered into my life. Uh, I'm dating a girl who lives in California, who's in a, a financial advisor in California, and we're working on transitioning her from there to here. Okay, so every is month for the is she with Edward Jones? Yes. So every month for about eight months, or maybe every five weeks for about eight, for the next eight months, I've been or I've been doing this for about probably seven, six, seven months as it is. Uh, we've been flying back and forth, and so there's always the there's basically in in this time frame there's about four days of every week or of every month that I'm not working. So it's it really is kind of as you come back in, it's you know you're you're just trying to get caught back up, and and I. I I really feel like if, if as much as I want to do this, I feel like I, I don't know that I have the time to do it at this at this moment. Two, there's there's a transition in moving her because she's not quite as successful as me, so I'm probably going to drop, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of ten grand to move her here and in, in, in all the travel back and forth in the in the intermediate time. And I don't know that I really want to give up another, you know, ten to twelve thousand dollars to at this exact moment to to when I don't know that I really have the time to focus on on the what I what I'm going to call the ultimate utopian society that I want to create right for, right. for my office I, I don't if if I'm going to do it I need to have the time and energy and the focus to really go and do it and say okay we we got to change time blocking we got to change this we got to change you know and, and, and to to make the change last 
or, or even to make the change worthwhile, I'm afraid that I'm not sure that I have the time between her, me, I'm going to be president of Rotary next year, and uh, I'm on the board of disability still, and I don't, I just don't know that I have the time while I'm trying to date her long distance, and also make make huge significant changes in, and I think the way that 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 I I totally run the business. So, kind of in my mind, what what my first goal is is to kind of create some continuity standard operating procedures around me and Libby and, and you know instead of her asking me can somebody come in at this time okay we've, we've already formatted a week so this is what I think we this is at least what we want the first two months to look like and then we'll react off of that going forward uh, and, and what we like and we don't like so I think that's the first thing is, is empowering her to you know just she's a great employee but empowering her to to you know, format my life a certain way so I I have time to get those chores done, and so that's really kind of my first focus. And then two, I think you just gave me a new way to think about, okay, what am I attempting to do on this call? Number one, uh, what, what role am I in? Am I an actor? Am I acting today? Am I am I you know just giving them, you know, helping to process what I'm thinking about? I need to do for them, or am I you know am I just checking in and and, and you know, trying to find regard for their situation, that seems like something that's fairly easy for me to to put into place. Uh, if if I just ask myself the question, what, what what's the goal here? What are we working towards in the next ten minutes? And uh, and then we kind of got some workflow schedule and chore type stuff in in the time in the in the in the in, the, in, in that weekly uh, whatever you want to call it the time blocking. Uh, section. So my gut feeling is, as much as I really probably know I need to do this, and I'll bet anything you guys can take me from 100 to 150, 200, I, I, I really don't know that I have the time to, to give it to you right now. Uh, yeah, does that make any like, sense? Yeah, it seems like, and I hear what you're saying, that, but it seems like, too, is that I feel like, you know, the, the, the one of the best ways to make more money and to create more focus is to take more time off. Um, you know, I'm, I'm at 20 hours a week now is my normal week that I mm -hmm. work. And, and I've seen this time and time again with so many advisors is that um, focus is power. And your language and the way your thoughts are running through your head, mm -hmm. um, it, it's a pattern that's been running for a long time. So you got to think like, okay, you, you do have a lot going on, you know, your girlfriend's moving out there, you do have a lot going on with the BA, you got a lot going on with your clients, but if you're able to focus your energy more and really home in and someone's holding you accountable like a coach would do in athletics to here are the things that you have to get done and every, you know, week or two weeks when you're getting together, it's like, All right. boom, are we on this, are we on that, are we on, you know, you're not going to be able to escape from it because it, it just, it's going to run the pattern. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I bet not, it's no know. different than you showing up at the gym to work out with somebody. Whenever you've got your partner and you, you go work out every day at the same time, you, you yeah. feel guilty if you don't show up. Um, it, you know, I, I, I mean, no different than practicing, you know, uh, with with basketball and golf. I mean, uh, it show up every day, you know, at the same time, and you practice your skills every day. Um, oh, exactly, and that right, and that. Right. You're, you're hitting home for me. I mean, because I, I have a group that I work. There's three of us actually that we work out, and one guy's not there. So I used to just have one guy, but then I was sometimes he'd be sick or something. He wouldn't be there. I said we need three of us, so in case someone can't make it, we're still held accountable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you just get a much not better a bad workout. Idea for three. That is that is right. I mean, you know. So and that's what the coaching does it. And just listen to your language. I mean, it your you your thoughts are running and racing in so many ways. Let's. If you just lay out a clear plan and have four or five big rocks that you're working on, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's like let's let's just take those three. You know, how do you create some peace of mind? How do we increase your book of business overall to 50% growth, let's say? And how do we create more happiness? Maybe it's just those three rocks. Mm -hmm. And then every week we're just working on those three things and we're measuring it. And okay, is there more peace of mind this last week? Because we have a tool that we use for that. It's called the call maximizer, and that that piece of it is in there. And so we're tracking it. We're measuring it over time. 
Same thing with your happiness level. And mm -hmm. the book of business, I mean, that, that's easy to show up, but there's lots of strategies there. Say, hey, this week, mm -hmm. let's implement this one new strategy. Let's home in on your top 20 or your top 30 clients, and here's the type of call. Let's role play it. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get it down. You're very focused about it. You're in a very confident, congruent, very intentional place, and let's make the call. you got 10 calls to make between now and our next call. Mm -hmm. Here's what you can say. Go for it. Gotcha. Yeah, so imagine having that clarity. I mean, so my, my thought, again, I think when you've got more going on, it's even more important because how much more less, less efficiency is going to happen if you roll in that same thinking you've had into what's about to go on in your life, it's just going to create more stress for you. It, it, very, it very well could. That, there's, there's no doubt. Um, so, no, I, 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 I get it. I, I, let me think about it. Um, I, like I said, it, it, it's... I, I know my, my brain tilts me this way, okay, because I do know that every coach I had, good or bad, I learned things from, uh, and, and I got better because they did know some skills that I didn't know or, or, or hadn't, hadn't acted upon. So no, I, give, give, me, give me a little time to think about it, but there's two spots left right now, right, in the in – the, Yeah, and you know, kind of here's, what may, here's what you may want to do just so that mm – -hmm hardly any investment, $60 a month gives you access to our full online system. Okay. Let's see if you plug into it and you start taking some steps there. If you feel like, hey, I can I can dive into it, I can do it, you're going to know in a short period of time whether you're doing the stuff. It's all outlined in there. It's, in fact, included with that is a 10-minute video clip every week for 52 weeks that I, I'm on there talking and I send you a video clip on, like we talked about today, Relator, Doer, Thinker, and you know, spend your time in the right area, and here's two action steps to spend this week. And then you'll have another one next week on ideal clients. So then see, if you get the video and you're able to stop and actually watch it and take the action steps and do the online stuff, then, then you've got it. You just follow that path. But I, I have a sort of a sneaky suspicion that I think it's going to just sort of run away from you, and then you'll go, okay, wait a minute, yeah, I – I've got it. I need to just engage in the coaching, and then you can jump up to the next level if you want okay. to. Okay. Well, I, I, that that I think short run that's probably a better commit in, in my mind from a money standpoint. That if if I if I end up being a a you know I I I just don't act on the things, and and I, I'm uh, not only because I'm a little bit lazy, but also because I'm so busy. <laughs> At the same time, if that makes any sense, um, I'm busy and doing lazy and acting, okay, if that makes any sense, uh, yeah. th then, then uh, uh, my fear is, is I spend a bunch of money and then I, I end up being the one to let myself down, and, and then, I, then I'm like, okay, well, that, was, that wasn't what I needed, <laughs> and so this, this kind of gives me like a, uh, you know, a, a short run approach at saying, okay, how many, can, will you act, okay, and if I don't act, and then it really just comes down to, I need somebody to, to, to be the one to hold me accountable. And, and I admit, I'm one of those kind of people that occasionally I need to be held accountable. But other times I get fully focused on something and I'd work on it longer and harder than anybody else would. Uh, and it just comes down to whether I can get focused uh, or there's too many things going on and I never get focused. But uh, Right. And, and, well, I, so I, I understand. That's a good approach. And maybe you go down the path, but again, I, I think you're going to know mm -hmm. when someone's holding your feet to the fire one on one, you can't yeah. you can't get it. You, know, you can't go anywhere because he's his whole job is to make sure that you have clarity, accountability, and focus. Yeah, I, you know I, that? yeah my dad was a coach, and I, I, there's there oh, were times okay. where I had to be out there shooting, you know, my hundred free throws every day. Uh, or or putting my hundred balls from you know five feet. So um, right, yeah, you it, get it. Well, let, yeah, let's totally here. I'm, I'm, see how that goes for you. See if you. things uh, chill, and, and maybe you guys together with your uh, with your um, girlfriend or mm -hmm. fiance or wife to be. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any plans for wedding? Uh, I, I mean, yes. If she's gonna move here, then she's given up about a thirty million dollar office to move here. So in theory, there better be a plan for a marriage but in wedding. But but deep down, I'm, my gut feeling is that's more like two years away because really all we 
we talk on the phone every day, multiple times a day, but yet we only see each other once a week, or you know, once a month for three or four days, four or five days. And uh, uh, you know, I think we both kind of just want this what, what we're going to call a, a pure dating period, and, and even though we're really fully committed, uh, only because we haven't had that. So our dates right. are on Skype, you know. Yeah, I hear you. Well, you know, take your time and yeah. you know, my wife, uh, we've been married for 17 years now, but she was, we met in, in North Carolina, they moved to Dallas together uh -huh. after we were dating for about a month uh -huh. and, uh, and uh, dated yeah. for uh, like about a year and then we got engaged. So. Yeah. That, yeah, that's a that's a powerful move, you know, it, it, you, could, you, you could tell pretty quickly you liked each other, so that's good. Uh, yeah, it worked out. Now, there's... Uh, not always easy, but it's worked out all right over time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Seventeen years is pretty powerful today. I think anybody who makes it that long, you know, done well. So, yeah, more power. Good. good luck for the next seventeen. So. Yeah. So let's see. I've got your address right. Two zero four three West DeKalb Street. Right. Camden, South Carolina. Two nine zero two zero. Mm-hmm. Phone number and, and, eight. And, and I, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. Phone number eight zero three. Four three two six nine nine eight. You got it. And Jonathan dot at edwardjones dot com. That's correct. Perfect. All right. And we do any major credit card, whatever you want to use. Um, okay. Here you go. Um, a Mastercard. Five okay. four six six. Three two seven zero. Four nine two five. Five nine six four. Expires. Ten of four, two thousand fourteen. Last three is seven ninety six. If you need it. That's like that code on the back. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And is it the same address? The two thousand fourteen. Uh, no, it, it'll be fourteen. Brays B R A Y S Drive. Lugolf, South Carolina. L U G O F F. South Carolina two nine zero seven eight. Okay. Uh, two nine zero seven eight. Okay. Got it. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'll um, you be looking for uh, you'll get your user ID, your password, the first video for the first week, and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, probably on Monday we okay. usually get the out, and then uh, billing cycles run on like the first of every month. So. Okay. Um, yeah, see what you think there, and feel free to drop us a line. Let us know how you're doing, and, you know, all the stuff there to do it. So, okay. you know, maybe that will be enough to get you to the next level, and, you know, if you say, hey, I, do, I need you to get some coaching. So we'll see. And, and, and literally, I, I do believe that this is going to be in my future. The question is, is right away, or is it after after I, I, I get her acclimated here and, and effectively have real time to focus 